Hello everyone there in YouTube world. My name is General Kenobi, and Spike is acting all cool. Last time we went to the ocean, we went, we explored some of the some of the oceans. We found a creature that has never been that has never been found before, and now we're going from warm and tropical to ice cold. We are at the new freeze land, Snowy Mammoth. You're heading towards the Ice Age. It will be extremely cold in this next area. The planet is covered with ice and in some areas with strong winds the temperatures will drop below freezing. The apes have adapted well to the new surroundings. Take full advantage of the gadgets so you can quickly move on. All right, so we are now in the Ice Age. And we need to capture five monkeys. Now I will point out, we are not gonna be going into the water in this level. In this level, the water actually acts like lava. It says here, the, the sea in the Ice Age is just really cold. We'll be hurt if we fall in. So yeah, it's just like it, in this level, the water is just like lava. So there's no actually no side areas in this level. It's just one kind of big cir circle level. All right, so this monkey is gonna go. We're gonna start seeing this quite a bit. Monkeys that will enter one thing and come out in another, in another spot. So there's kind of a this one kind of had a clue as to where he where he entered. A flag came up. And where he exited, a flag came up. So that's kind of your clues to where, where to look. Alright. We're going to head down here. There's our Spectre Coin. And we're going to capture this guy. Now you've probably noticed, right now the monkeys are wearing are wearing snowsuits. Their snowsuits actually actually fit with what color pants that they would be, that they would be wearing. Now this guy is where is riding on the woolly mammoth. Kind of like the T-Rex, we need to knock, we need to knock him off. Hiya. And to do that, we just need to start hitting the um the um ah right. good okay. All right, I'm gonna hit him with with my one explosive shot. I got him. And after Hiya. we hit him, he'll fire off a couple shots, and we need to try and dodge out of the way. Activate. All right, and that knocked him down. And he is now stunned. We just gotta capture him. All right, now these are a different type of an enemy we've seen earlier. Those flying things. These guys need to actually hit three times to take him down. We're gonna push through. The wind, the wind is a little strong, but we can push through. It probably be a, might be a good idea to use your, uh, this be one of the uses of, of your, uh, of your super hoop. Now here's something we actually came across in the first level of the, of the second er era with the ruins. It's the cookie jar. Now we actually didn't come to it because we completed the level before we got to it. But pretty much there's an unlimited supply of cookies in here. And if you ever low, just hit it, and three cookies will will pop out, and they are infinite. So always keep an, always remember where those are. So if you ever need a backtrack to get to get some get some health, that's where you go. Now we need to look out for this little machine here. Am I going to be able to get up there? Yes, I am. So we just need to jump over the fan blades because they do hurt. Alright. Now occasionally we'll come across a monkey that'll do that. They'll just kind of stand there. They'll just kind of stand there. So we we hit that, and that will destroy. That will take out take out that propeller. We don't have to worry about it anymore. And this tell that tells us about the machine that we just destroyed. All right, we're gonna come over here. There's one monkey left we need to capture, and we're gonna capture this guy. Oh, 
Galaxia. And yes. there we go. You did great. All right, we're going to move on to the next to the next level of the ice age. All right, so we're at the Frosty Retreat. Look what I've got, a new gadget. Check it out. Here's the Skyflyer. It'll take you to high places. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. All right, so we just got the Skyflyer. Which is probably one of probably the, the third best gadget of the game. Pretty much what it does, I'm not going to bother with the mailboxes this time. Pretty much, it gives us some extra hype for our jump for our jumps. So think of it as kind of a, a triple jump, and it also allows us to cross cross wider gaps. And just like with the super hoop, it can be used either while moving or while standing still. All right. So we need to capture six monkeys this time. Let's go! All right. So I'm actually going to switch out the... Um, the, um monkey radar for that for right now and here's a different version of another enemy we saw uh, this one they will pop up in, up, up up in different spots and if we get too close they actually go away so if you want to defeat them all you have to do is that right, I'm gonna take there he is Oh, there's one right. There's one right above me. All right, there's some of our homing ammo. All right, I'm gonna take this guy out before I even think about going over there. I again have to give credit to the person that that, made, that did the music for this game. All right, so here's two monkeys that we're gonna capture. And I think if you did it correctly, I think you can catch them both at the same time. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. There we go. So let's continue on. Going inside. Let's see, this one is. Ah, this t uh, again tells us about pressing the select button for the gadget select screen. And then we get the first, like, wait, did you program that without my permission? So here's this guy, just kind of standing, just kind of standing there. Oh. Ah! Oh, he's going down here. Is he going into the water? Is he going into the water? Yes, he is. He just made it easier for me to get you. Gotcha. All right, so that's three out of six. We're halfway there. All right, you probably just saw that those are spikes that come out from the wall, and we need to be careful because those will hurt us. So just wait, just wait patiently, and as soon as they're done, uh, head off. And that is a big boulder of ice, and if it hits us, we'll, we will get crushed and lo just lose one hit, one hit point. 
But let's not get hit at all. Get that guy. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. Nope. Alright. Alright, so these kind of up. Alright, you gotta you wanna time this correctly. Because steps one and three will pop up. Then step two, and then step three again. Once you're at step two, you can actually That guy that monkey saw me and he still just stood there. Alright, let's head outside. We got one monkey left. There's that boat again, and it's actually for the jellyfish. However, just like with the big fish from earlier, it's actually better to just, um, just avoid it all together. Excuse me one second. A few moments later. Alright, sorry about that. So here's our last monkey. It's one of those green green pants monkeys again. And they did that igloo trick, that, that igloo thing from the first Ice Age level. And just like I said, just watch the flags. You did great. All right, let's move on to the final level of the, um, of the Ice Age, and we have actually now unlocked one of the minigames. Usually we unlock it well before this, but, but I lost the race, so that did not help. <laughs> that did not help. But, uh, yep, we are now we're heading to the Hot Springs. Alright, we need, we need to capture six monkeys. And if I'm being completely honest, up until this point, this is probably going to be the hardest level. It is very easy to just to um, go. to fall down and have to climb all the way back up. So we want to be extremely care we want to be careful here. But before we start heading up, there are quite a few monkeys that we that we can um, that we can capture. Actually, you know what? I'm going to come back to this area later. Let's get this guy. Now, if you want to look out for the steam, because that steam actually will, that steam will hurt us, and we can get into this water. I didn't mention that earlier, but and the only the only uh, level of the Ice Age where the water will hurt us is that first one. After that, I guess the water is warm enough that we can get in. All right, here's another one of those red pants movies. These guys are mean. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I, lo I lost him. Uh, the time before we had a lock, before we had lock on. Alright. Alright, so that's it. That's kind of it for the ground level. Let's head up, let's head back up to... Let's head here. And we're gonna start heading up. I didn't think that would hurt him. Alright, so this tells us about the bridge that's ahead. It is made out of ice, and as soon as we step on it, it will start collapsing. So you probably think you want to use your the super hoop. Actually, no. Your best bet is to use the sky flyer, and as soon as you land, jump again. While looking out for those spinning mazes that we saw during the race. Alright, so let's keep going. Here's, there's another monkey right here. Got Alright. Now, before I jump across, I'm going to take this guy out. Alright, and here's another one of those ice bridges. Alright. 
Now, in the water over there, there is a t-shirt if you're running low on lives. However, getting in there and then getting out would be would be would be the trick. Uh oh. All right. Now we're gonna go in and head into why this area is called the Hot Springs. There's actually a hot spring. And there's actually a message. There's actually a mailbox around here about the hot springs. I think it's up here. Uh, it's around here. There it is. Yeah. Um, hot springs. Let's relax in there. And according to the scanner, the hot springs contain soothing minerals. And they're actually thinking about coming back, coming back here sometime. That's something that's never actually clarified. There are sequels to this game, however, they never, they don't really mention any, any about anything about the time travel and whatnot. My guess is they probably, after all this is done, they probably do go back in time and 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 and, and enjoy things. All right, there's one more left. I actually think there's an easy yeah, there's an easy one right here. Yes! I had I exited right by the spectrum. And that's the end of the ice age. You did great. We got another race. I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. Let's go! Alright. So this race is actually a little different. We are given the Sky Flyer, because we're actually going to need it. And I'd like to know how Jake got a hold of the Sky Flyer. All right. In this case, that uh, you can actually get ahead and stay ahead. All right. Now let's see if I can get across this. Yep. All right. Fall slightly, and then use that. Use a sky flare to get across. Alright, now I'm going to go across this way. Alright, the end of the race is right here. This time there's nothing that can kill us. And there we go, we completed the race. And for beating the race... We got five Spectre Coins. I'll go up against you anytime you want. Alright. We've got a little bit of time left, so I'm gonna show I'm gonna go and show something off. We're actually not gonna be leave, we're not gonna leave the Ice Age, we're going back to the first level of the Ice Age. Kind of ignore that. Alright. So we're going back here. There's two things I want to show off. Let's go! Alright, first, we're going to turn around, and I want to get over there. And I think to get over there, I go this way. Hiya! I'm going to head over here. Yep. Alright, so this mailbox... Yeah. It says, if you're reading this, we're lost. And they want us to use the monkey radar to get back to where we need to go. Where we need to go. We're going to take a little shortcut. We're back over here by the machine. Actually, I actually think we do need to take that take the machine out again. Yep. But there's something, one thing we're going to do, do over here, and it wasn't just that mailbox. I guess that was one of it, but I figured since I'm here, I'll do the other thing. All right. Now I believe it's right. Yep, it's right over here. 
and it's actually the last monkey of this level. I wasn't going to do this until I start until the very end, but I'll go ahead and show off this first one now. Alright, so that is the last monkey of the area. Once we capture all the monkeys, it's just like the, um... It starts off the same, the same animation. We head to here, only there is a difference. You did it! We captured all the monkeys in that level. Natalie says we did it instead of you did great. And the professor kind of just, kind of just walks around. And then if we head to the, the title select screen, well, the level select screen. It says it is now 100% complete. Alright, so that's going to do it for this episode. We made it through the Ice Age relatively unharmed. There were a couple spots I was going to die, but we managed to get through it. And that last level, while it did look while I did breeze through it, that's because I played this game so much, but if it's your first time playing it, that level can be, especially those ice bridges. If you don't have that down, that, those ice bridges can be a problem. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Join us next time as we head to the next era. This has been General Kenobi. We'll catch you all next time.